Hi there, it's Acoustic Pants. I'm uh, making a, another video to make up for my YouTube blanket of silence for the last week. I had a, a few hardware troubles. I think uh, my computer just didn't like some updates and uh, a whole bunch of updates came out at once for different things, video driver, this and that. And um, I don't think that my that my computer liked recording at the same time, I had a few. I uh, tried to record a few videos last week, and uh, my computer just decided to give up. I think the CPU just overheated and uh, died. Well, it didn't die, but anyway, a few more updates later, and everything seems to be happy. So, we are going to build a command center first. Uh, where do we go to? To 12, 13, 14, 15? Think. Think, Brandon, think. We'll see. Anyway, so this is a, um, a mod of StarCraft 2 called Starbow. A lot of fun. And I'm just playing against the AI because I'm testing the thing out. And you need to go for a scout, buddy. And I wanted to have a little chat about, um, well, the Bible as, as usual. And my you know limited lounge chair theological knowledge of it. And uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about where it comes from and how we get something like the Bible. Because you might not think of it. It's just kind of... If, if you're a, a Christian or you've been exposed to Christianity much in the past, it's you're probably aware it's just presented to you as a thing, which we call the... Uh, what we call the Word of God. And I'd agree with that. But at the same time, it's also the Word of a lot of, a lot of people. So there's no base up here in the top right so there's what is it 66 39 in old 20 yeah 66 books all together in the Bible and uh, that's that's Old and New Testament together the whole thing's written over oh geez um, probably a thousand years in terms of its compilation well, it depends I mean the jury's out as far as the, the exact details of when everything was made and whatnot. Um, and let's change this hotkey. Sorry, it's driving me nuts while I'm trying to talk. Can I get to this base? No. And there's no base down here. And I need... I need to do a transfer and I need to make the barracks and let's just make another barracks and I'm playing a Zerg, okay, cool. Um, yeah, so lots of authors over a thousand years and with the Old Testament uh, there's different explanations as to how it came about but uh, it came about in bits I think that's pretty fair to say. Well, stuff it, let's just build another base because that's fun right now. Oh no, I'm getting... Am I going to get cheesed? Yeah, we'll see. Hmm. Come on. Um, yeah, so, and then they're all different genres. Like there's, I mean, what we would call poetry. Uh, which Jewish ancient Jewish poetry kind of works differently to any poetry we have today and uh, we have prophecy there's teaching letters uh, let's see creation stories legal stuff I guess you could call it uh, let's see what else um, Apocalyptic prophecy, and then mixtures of all of those as well. That's the other thing. Um, the Bible doesn't really explain it itself in the way a textbook does. I suppose actually that's a really good point. Um, we we might go to the Bible, especially Christians or religious people uh, of any religion, will go to this religious book we call the Bible and critique it in similar ways to how we critique a textbook 
and um, then, and then we assume that it would be in a logical order that explains itself, builds on the chapters before it should have subheadings. Um, I'm macroing terribly. I do apologize. Uh, and it doesn't quite work like that. It's written by people who assume that its audience already know what it's talking about. And uh, like readers of the Old Testament don't need any explanation on why they hate well, sorry, readers of the... Jesus' audience didn't need any explanation as to why they hate the Samaritans. Right? They all just hated the Samaritans because that's just... Because they all knew that. You just hated them. If you don't know why, the answer is because a long, long time ago, um, when the Assyrians were in power in the region, they had an immigration policy where they moved a lot of... I think it was Syrians. Or at least... Or Babylonians... To sli slightly to the east of um, what Israel was in the Old Testament and moved them in, basically, forced migration, and they had to adopt the Israelite religion, Judaism. Well, I suppose it wasn't really Judaism then, but they had to adopt this religion. And um, they did nominally, but they still practiced um, their Babylonian Canaanite religion. They didn't fully convert, and so they were always seen as, well, they were seen as blasphemers for a long time. In, in Samaria, and the southerners, uh, in the Judeans, never really forgave them for that. Which one's building? Your building. Yep. All right. So I've got three bases, plenty of stuff. I need to. I need to. And let's. Will I get a star port? Uh, yeah, right, why not? Uh, yeah, so that's... But if you're... Um, okay. But if you if you are Jesus' audience in the first century in Palestine, following him around through the desert, listening to his teachings, you don't need to be told that about the, um, about the Samaritans. And you don't need to... You won't need most of the parables explained. You'll get them straight away because... They, Jesus delivered them for that culture. Um, yeah, we need more barracks. And you are control group eight. And you can see in Starbo um, with this mod. Sorry, I know it's strange mixing video games and the Bible, but you know, who cares? I enjoy them. You'll notice that the units spread themselves out more. They're not kind of clustering as much as they do. Now I need a scan. What other research? Spider mines, Charon boosters for Goliath, movement speed of vultures, don't need that. Shift one, control group two, one, and then Hmm. We expand towards the enemy. So that's, there's all these assumptions we bring to the Bible, which are the authors of the Bible. I mean, they're not thinking about people listening to me rant on YouTube in the Western world 2,000 years later. That, that idea doesn't exist to them. Um, the idea of continents on the other side of the world, that doesn't exist to these people either. I mean, unless you're familiar with Greek... Uh, Greek philosophy, you don't know anything about around Earth. Uh, you probably still believe the world was flat. Um, oh, bugged out drone, get him. Hmm, we'll have a banshee. Ooh, Hellfire, movement speed of Vikings, attack range. Cool. Alright. Let's get... Let's get... Let's get that. Where are you? Ah, oh, you're... Yeah, uh, so that's kind of the main thing that I wanted to say with... With that, but then there's... Um, but on genre, we, we might read say a, a parable of Jesus and I guess you could say parables are their own genre as well 
uh, and not realize that they're not we might take them very literally when it's kind of not not how you meant to do it so like we'll read details that aren't meant to be there uh, for example there's a, a parable where Jesus tells a story of Lazarus 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 excuse me and a rich man and Lazarus was lived life poor but went to heaven and the rich man lived wealthy but went to hell and uh, in the story in the story the dead the rich man and Lazarus talk to each other um, over a chasm or well, the rich man and Saint and Abraham talk to each other over a chasm between heaven and hell and I've heard uh, Christians say over the years well-meaning that we'll be able to talk between heaven and hell uh, and they make all these metaphysical uh, metaphysical claims about how about how heaven and hell will will work and Jesus parable wasn't wasn't given to describe how heaven and hell works it was given oh geez I don't even remember the actual lesson of that parable but it has a simple lesson which was something like something like you're given enough opportunity in this life to know God or something something like that Look at all that money building up. I've got to spend it. You know, this guy's nearly done, I think. Uh, what? What are you? Supply depot. Um, ch -ch 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 hmm. Hmm, killing all the things. Yeah, so that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Uh, it's a book written for uh, the purposes of the people who built it. Oh, not who built it, written for the people who wrote it, for the audience of their time. Uh, and if you really want to understand the value of an ancient book, you want to understand, you know, you want to understand its context and not, don't, don't force it on the details and don't force it to don't force it to apply directly to your situation and I see a lot of people doing that and it's just it's a shame because we miss out on the real value anyway I've been Christy Pants thanks for watching and I will see you next time CPU just overheated and uh, died well it didn't die but anyway a few more updates later and everything seems to be happy so we're going to build a command center first where do we go to? To 12? 13, 14. I'm just playing against the AI because I'm testing the thing out. And you need to go for a scout, buddy. And I wanted to have a little chat about, um, well, the Bible as, as usual. And my, you know, limited lounge chair theological knowledge of it. And uh, I want to... 15? Think. Think, Brandon, think. We'll see. Anyway, so this is a, um, a mod of StarCraft 2 called Starbow. A lot of fun. And hi there, it's Acoustic Pants. I'm making a, another video to make up for my YouTube blanket of silence for the last week. I had a, a few hardware troubles. I think uh, my computer just didn't like some updates. And... Uh, a whole bunch of updates came out at once for different things, video driver, this and that. And um, I don't think that my that my computer liked recording at the same time. I had a few, uh, I tried to record a few videos last week and uh, my computer just decided to give up. I think the 